So here at Herding Little Cows, we like to take a break on Sundays, like an actual break. So our meals look a little different than the rest of the week because we want to do things that don't take a lot of time to prepare. So for breakfast on Sunday morning, today's Saturday, breakfast tomorrow, we're going to have cereal. We're going to have, um, what are they called? Um, frosted mini wheats. That's what they're called. I <laughs> think they last longer than a very sugary cereal. So we'll do frosted mini wheats with milk, which kids are very excited about when we are on our trip. Um, the last couple weeks, we have a lot of cereal in the car without milk as a treat. So they're excited to have it with milk tomorrow. So that's an easy before church thing. We also use styrofoam or paper bowls on the week on Sundays so that we don't have to do dishes because we wait to do those till Monday morning. For lunch, we have been getting together with some people from church and that's not gonna be able to happen tomorrow, but it'd still be nice to come home to something hot in the crock pot. So right now we have some cooked up meat that we um, had cooked and put in the freezer if you saw our video from a couple weeks ago. We have some green chilies. It was a number 10 can that was gifted to us and I froze it in portions. Now we have black beans that have been cooked up from the last couple days because we've had enchiladas for the last few days. So the last of the black beans, I thought there were a lot more, but the last of the black beans are gonna go in the pot. So go ahead, you can scrape those in. Do it, do it. I'm gonna get corn out of the freezer while she works on that. Oh, and this is our first time using these slow cooker liners. So if you have comments about these, let me know. Um, it's not something we're going to use regularly. I, Normally cook in stainless steel. We normally use glass plates and glass cups, but sometimes you need to do something to save the sanity of your family. So we're gonna try these slow, slow cooker liners specifically for Sundays so that we don't have the cleanup of the slow cooker. Try to make sure you get everything in. Um, I have a friend who used one last weekend when we got together with them and they said that they really liked it. So um, we will see how it works. I'll give you a review on Monday. So. I'm going to get some corn out of the freezer. I told you guys I buy in bulk. So these were on sale last week. My aunt and uncle came to Maine for a little while and then went back to New Mexico. So we got corn and strawberries from them. We've got brownies in the freezer. we got ice in the freezer. we got all kinds of good stuff in the freezer. So how's the beans going? Good. Okay, I'm going to put some corn in here. Put some corn in there and there's no specific measurements to any of this because I don't know exactly what we're doing and you're hearing my phone go off in the background because we're having some talks about how to get your baby to go to sleep that's the talk we're having right now so if you've got suggestions for getting babies that are about four to six months old to go to sleep please let me know and I'll pass it along to my friends that we're chatting with because we have some babies that don't like sleeping so much my baby this time is sleeping but Okay. Try to get all of the beans. I'm looking for. Yum. Oh, that's a lot of beans. Okay, nothing that we're putting in here is seasoned, so we're gonna use some garlic powder. Okay. Here. Oh, scrape out. There's you can probably get one more spoonful of beans there. Garlic powder. We're gonna do taco seasoning. We never measure. Do you want me to get the last one here? Can you pour that into this thing? This is also a good time to clean out the fridge. So we're using, I don't know, a half cup of tomato sauce we have left over from some other cooking we've done this week. We try to cook out, cook out. We try to clean out the fridge on Saturdays so we make sure that food's not going to waste. I clean out other times during the week. Okay, I'm gonna add some water and then you can pour this back in. Yeah. Yeah. So you could make this. You can make the stuff we're making thinner or thicker. Um, if you make it thinner, it's going to be more like a soup. If you make it thicker, you can use it either on burritos or as a chip dip. So we're going to leave it just like this. Um, I might add a little bit more water in the morning, but I'm going to take my crock pot and put it in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, we'll turn it on when we head out to church. So we'll have this for lunch probably with some pretzels. Virginia made some pretzels up that she put in the freezer. They're par-baked, so we just need to cook them up um, for another 10 minutes or so. And we'll probably have those on the side because we really, really like those. And then for our meal tomorrow night, if someone gave me some soup packets that you 
cook on the stove with boiling water for like 20 minutes and we'll have those. So the pretzels will either go with this for lunch or that for supper. Um, also on Saturdays, we try to make sure everybody's clean for Sunday morning. So this little girl with the crazy hair, her hair was put back really quickly, so it didn't get in the food, but I have to bathe her and Josiah, the seven-year-old with CP, and the two-year-old, she does most of her own bath. Yeah. I help her with her hair. And the baby all need to be bathed. All those big people took showers this morning. So that's another thing we do to get ready for Sundays. We make sure our Bible bag gets packed. So we have all of the Bibles, plus we have a small little bag with some quiet toys for the littles, mostly pens, paper, a couple little Bibles, and then a couple just small little animal toys for the two-year-old. Oh, and clothespins and popsicle sticks. The two-year-old right now loves putting clothespins on popsicle sticks. It's a very quiet activity and works on his hand-eye coordination and he loves doing that. So do we do anything else to get ready? Oh, we make sure laundry's totally caught up for the house and just that the house is generally picked up. Um, we invite people over for lunch after church. Sometimes we have people join us, sometimes not. And then just take the day to rest and think about the Lord. So thank you for joining us.